Hey guys, it's Hafei, I'm back again, and this is going to be the update of my team project pan 2020. I'm a little bit late. It is what it is. Um, I have since acquired a set of scales. Um, I weighed most of my products when I got the scales, which was just after the start of the month. Um, uh, just it was probably almost a month ago, so about the middle of February. Uh, so I have weighed them again today after I used most of them. Uh, yeah, and I will be inserting the weights and the changes on the screen as I do my editing because I don't have my computer sitting in front of me. It's behind me. Can't see the screen. It's not on my phone. It's a thing. Um, but you'll still see the change in the products. So I am going to start somewhere. Uh, let's start with skin care stuff. So I have the Taste the Rainbow Lip Balm from Pretty's V Face. Uh, well, that is where we are. That's how much we have left. It uh, doesn't seem to go as fast as other lip balms I've had, but that is fine. The lip scrub from Pretty's for Your Face, which is in jelly bean flavor. Um, you can, if you remember my last video, you can see there's, it's been used. It's kind of hard to get my fingers in there because I have like claws. But um, I do my best. I don't use it as much as I probably should. Uh, my daily eye cream, like my daytime day cream, day cream is this Lacura Renew Expert Eye Gel. Um, Airless Pump, can't tell you how much is in here, how much is left, but the amount in it has changed since I weighed it last time. Um, the night eye cream that I use is the Elucent Anti-Aging Eye Cream. I don't use this every day. Um, I did not weigh this one in the middle of the month because it was in my bathroom and I couldn't be bothered going and getting it. So it got weighed for the first time today. So um, I don't think there's a huge amount of this left, but I can't see through it. The serum that I am using, which I really only use during the day, is the Lacura Revive Moisture Boost Hyaluronic Activator. Uh, it has changed since I last weighed it. Um, yeah, I actually really like this. I like the way it feels on the skin. It feels really, really nice. My day cream at the moment is the Lacura Daily Face SPF 15 Q10 Anti-Wrinkle. Uh, this has clearly changed. This is one of the things that has changed the most over the course of the last month. Uh, the night cream that I'm using is the Renew Expert Wrinkle Filling Night Cream. Um, this was brand new, had not even had the safety seal removed when we were here last. Um, I have not used this every day, which is why it hasn't had as much use as it probably should have. The hand cream I've been using is the Liqueur Enchant Hand Cream in Lotus Flower and Pink Grapefruit. I like the smell of this. Uh, this is something that I do use every day and quite often more than once a day. Um, yeah, so it has changed quite a bit and I can just feel by how much more difficult it is to get the product out. The primer I'm using is the Maybelline Baby Skin. Uh, it has changed quite a bit. Um, the weight has changed quite a bit. Um, yeah. The foundation that I have in this project is the NYX Total Control Drops in Light, 05 Light. There has been a little bit of a change. You don't use an awful lot of this. Um, and judging from the change, this is definitely going to take me all year. The concealer I'm using is the Maybelline Fit Me 05 Ivory. Uh, it is getting harder to get out a decent amount of product um, and it is you know it shows on the scales that it's been used so does that uh, the two face powders I have I have the uh, artist selection 
HD powder which is from Crown um, and it doesn't it doesn't look too different from where that line is down the bottom there but the scales say that there has been a change so um, and the same with the um, physician's formula um, mineral finishing veil which is in a different container than what it comes in um, not too much different from that line but the scales say it has changed uh, the makeup finishing spray from NYX the jury finish one this is almost done like I can tell it's almost done there's not very much in it um, and it's starting to do that spurty thing that they do when they start to get a little bit low so that one will definitely be done by next update the bronzer I have in is the clean color tanned raw um, I've only think I've used I've only used it a couple of times but there has been a change in the weight according to my skeins same with the blush which is the rose duo from La Cura, uh, according to the scales the product has been used the daybreak um, ombre highlighter from models prefer this one has had a bigger change than the others but then I probably use more of this than I do of the blush and bronzer and the Havana um, contour right here that has shown a change it's actually got quite a big dip in it I often use it to contour my eyes as well as a face contour so it gets used a little bit more my eye primer is the Rev, uh, Revolution uh, eye primer it doesn't have a special name um, the scales say that it has been used uh, let's see this eyebrow pencil from OXX which is too warm um, it has had quite a significant change and it turns out that the lid goes down too far and I have to it's got a crack in the lid and I have to sharpen it every time I use it so it's actually moving fairly rapidly for an eyeliner eyebrow pencil um, the eyebrow tint from Astralis um, I th I'm pretty sure it actually on the scale said that it hadn't changed even though I've used this product probably more than I've used the eyebrow pencil and it's had massive change so I think it's because it's got a lot of air in it that it's not really um, changing like you can literally hear the air in it so that might be why it apparently hasn't changed um, the uh, noir pencil I'm pretty sure this hasn't changed hasn't changed much even though I have used it several times and sharpened it um, same for the in the nude from uh, Rimmel the nude eyeliner and I think there's just a little change in the lip liner from Anoxa in Mocha Rush uh, the mellow whoops the mellow gel eyeliner has had a change in its weight since I weighed it and I have hacked it a bit more there on the top I've removed the dirty mind symbol that was in there last month which a number of my subscribers also apparently have dirty minds so a good time was had by all the balm watch or type mascara shows that it has been used um, probably not as much as I would expect then we have three loop products the Mac Vegas vault didn't get used uh, therefore it hasn't changed the wine or mine got used once teeny tiny change same with tea and cookies used once teeny tiny change but a change nevertheless so I haven't used anything up I have a couple of things that are probably getting closer to being finished um, 
and yeah at the next update I will be deciding whether I'm going to um, change anything out move things out and bring other things in um, which might be the case as the weather gets a little bit colder here I might feel the need to change things a little bit uh, yeah so that is it for this update if you're part of team project pan and you're here because of that welcome if you want to subscribe click the button down there click the little bell so you get notified of when i upload new content leave me a thumbs up if you like project pan type videos and leave me a comment down below i will like your comment and i will answer any questions you ask and i'll see you in my next video see ya